Hi everybody, I'm Just Keshan and welcome to the Wellness Capital. I'm so excited because this will be the first episode ever that we are going to be recording this entire journey of Wellness with Just Keshan. What makes you more happy is to have to be the nominal giving the same because um, you know your life transacts in a way that you catch the vibe of each other. And I really like you both. I want to tell you the part of my first चंडीगढ़ She is also um, a big part of global team of Thai University and also the Chennai Chapter Thai. Right? Yes, yes. yes. Lovely. And uh, she has been all around since the entire entrepreneurial world. She's such a big contribution. I'm so glad that you're here today. Thank you so, so much, Jas, and congratulations for this new journey of yours too. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. And the second is uh, someone I studied with. So we did mass communication together with Madam uh, Vasudhi, and we spent thirteen, fourteen years of that. And what a journey this woman has had! Uh, she's worked with Bill Gates, she's worked with Amy Poehler, she has also worked worked with uh, Day and Night uh, Channel. She has been awarded with the uh, Lakshmi Media Award. Um, and there's so many awards that it's so hard yeah. for me to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Such a phenomenal woman, and she just embraced motherhood and the the, the new phase of life. Yes. Yes. Welcome, Rupa. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was amazing to be here. Thank you yeah, so thank much. Thank you. So let's start. And um, before I start talking about wellness, I just want to tell you that I think the best way to um, introduce yourself is to tell us about your wellness scale today. One to ten. Where do you scale yourself in the game of wellness? And ten being the highest, yeah. uh, maybe minus two. Oh, yes, <laughs> that comes to be a nice number. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I lost all my you know thirty kg. It was super speed gymming for a couple of hours every day. That be a time tha. But unfortunately, again, life again, you know, kind of does all these kinds of. Uh, it didn't make you comfortable. Yes. No, in fact, it didn't. It took me where I was extreme. So oh, I think health and fitness went for a complete toss, and um, then it was suddenly the single person, and then you know you were working, and then you were trying to yeah, trying to. So I think for um, overall, I would like to say that um, you know for women, we are conditioned not to think about ourselves. So women wellness is always something that is always the least of all our priorities for the family, for the children, for the spouses, for partners, yeah, for yeah. parents, and more so for us. So I think that's something which, luckily, I have managed to break. And you know, because being single, you just realize that uh, you only have yourself to watch out for. Because the uh, kids are there, they're nice kids, but you know, they also have a life to live. They will fly the nest at some stage. So uh, I think um, not nine, nine out of ten. But my physical fitness is where I need to work on. Now, and the thing is, my favorite thing is that it's because you're physical. Hundred percent yes. Like I just mentioned that you, if you have to go to the gym in the day because that you know uh, is something that's an investment towards your fitness. If there are five things to be done, that will be the sixth thing on the list. That's how it works. We're all conditioned. We just wired like that. We just, I mean, घर पे भी बोलूँ इतना हल्ला गुला मचा कहीं पे plumber आ रहा है कहीं कुछ हो रहा है your work is happening. There's a client call and in the middle of it you say I want to go to the gym and people are looking like. I mean, I, we even we don't think like that. I want to do all those five ticks, and I say six. I will figure out. Me, shamnu chale naanga, you know. Swearing me, guys, shamnu chale. Shami ne the eighth baje chala jaega. So that always happens. I think fast factor of what comes at the end for all. Hundred percent. Wellness is always something which is at the back burner. Always. I think that will be the next part of our talk. How would you? Uh, how would you think? Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Right. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? See, I have a baby of fifteen months right now. So, uh, if we talk about wellness, I don't get time for myself. We were, you know, of course, everybody knows that you know a mother is never alone. Even once I have to go to the washroom, she, <laughs> you know, so it. And so, when it comes to, I feel that you know, I have to. Uh, 
study i have to read books i have to do uh, my puja because i am a person i am a very uh, you know that kind of person that i get up in the morning i uh, i used to have uh, my amrit vela you know initially <laughs> but what happens is now because she gets up uh, uh, she is a morning person rabab is a morning person i am very fortunate that she is a morning person but of course i can't go to my puja room and sit and uh, do my part so i have to sit in the bed yeah i am just connected so and and i i feel that you know what i'm doing for myself so there's no time for myself but once i was i had embraced pregnancy so i was very very happy because i because i had heard that you know whatever you feel during the pregnancy the whole effect is on the child so i tried to be as happy i can i tried to eat as healthy i can and i could see she loves whatever i had eaten during That's my pregnancy <laughs> yeah, she loves it that's what we always call in our balance that if your blood and scar to the size is it's a nice one yes so after that it is not conditioning actually actually absolutely so let's talk about something which is very very important is uh work life balance you know this is like the hottest topic everybody wants to talk about but it hardly feels a real struggle because most of them time people are talking about work life they try to store picture which is like i am trying to deal with it and making it happen so for me so tell me how some life on to what you really feel is it actually a superwoman quality to balance things that speak Or is it unnatural for a woman to be all over? Um, um, may I go first, Neha? Yeah, That's yeah, okay. Please, please. So, I think uh, work-life balance is all plain bullshit. There is nothing called work-life balance. You can never balance the two. I think there are phases in life where your work will demand far more attention. Maybe you are looking at, you know, you've picked up a new profile or a new designation, or there is a new project which has come your way. And there are times when family will take priority if your kids are unwell, or if your parent or your spouse is, you know, simply anybody is unwell. So that one week you will not even look at work. So I am. personally of the belief that uh, there is no balance per se it is just that whatever comes at a priority you take that up at that point of time and how well you can structure it because again it also comes about uh, you know one resources and i think women don't uh, uh, you know understand the importance of having resources around whether it is friends whether it is people whether it is your security guard कुछ भी हो कहीं पे डेलीगेशन यस एब्सोल्युटली रिसोर्सेस काउंट एंड स्पेशली फॉर अ वुमन आई से दैट ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन एंड आई बीन अ सिंगल इंडिपेंडेंट वुमन फॉर 10 इयर्स एंड आई टेल यू इट इज फ्रेंड्स इट इज फैमिली इट इज सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स इट इज दूध वाले भैया इट इज वो सब्जी वाले भैया एवरीबॉडी जस्ट कम्स टुगेदर टू मेक श्योर दैट हैपेंस सो दिस इज वन पार्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्क लाइक बैलेंस व्हाट वाज योर सेकंड क्वेश्चन द सुपर वुमन थिंग यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट और इज इट जस्ट ओवर थिंकिंग दैट वी आर नो द Fine. so the superwoman thing is a complete patriarchal thing it is again pushing women to you know overachieve overperform overdo so i always say that there are no superwomen i'm a regular person i get tired i lose my cool there are times i'm mad there are times i'm menopausing there are times i have pms there are times i have a migraine there are times that i'm not a superwoman sorry i am here as a regular human being you get tired i get tired you want to come home from work sit down and read the newspaper because you've had a bad day and so do what that's exactly what i want to do as well so there are no superwomen so yeah let's not even go down there and i don't want to be a superwoman i'm just happy being a woman and trying to take care of my this thing uh i think for the body for that let's be real to ourselves because uh the thing that i love about this one i would like to get uh a bit more um so what do you see that women have embraced more of our lifestyle current time from now and for the decades um then embracing their femininity to change the narrative what do you i always feel that uh, that you know we in a way we want to uh, you know compete with men so uh, why do we have to compete we are so powerful you know i am taking everything to my pregnancy since you know i'm you know because I, I, i feel that you know a woman is so capable i'm not saying that i'm degenerating or degrading men but women is so powerful so powerful that why do we have to compete with anyone for that matter so we have to understand that you know we are very powerful we don't want to compete with anyone we all are equal but of course give us that equality 
right so because because when it comes to work i have seen discrimination happening you know uh, i will not name that uh, particular institution there are so many uh, because <laughs> because i i was not given uh, that uh, promotion or i was not given that position right now as well you know that uh, you are a woman and you are a mother how will you deal with that bloody it is my problem you know uh, once i i was just working till the last day of rabab was born on 19th i was working till 18th and i was not proving anything i was like no one should put a finger on me that you know she is a woman you know ab bachcha ho raha hai so you know she will not work we have to deal with that so after 6 months of my this uh, leave maternity which i feel that what it should be one year <laughs> right so it should it 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 should be uh, i was back on track but it was a very very tough decision i was thinking that i should quit but then i was like i don't want to put this blame on my child ki teri wajah se i did not i i quit you know right. i never wanted to put that blame on her uh, you know when you talking like that <laughs> Thing that indirectly, people still pressurize to work. Yes, yes, no, yes. That's that's the superwoman syndrome. That, that, <laughs> I will manage my child. I will be the best possible person. Yes, yes. We feel so busy, uh, being ourselves, like being in great motherhood. You know, you need that kind of massage in your body. You need yeah. that kind of you know, in your body to say, you know, what you feel bad. Yes. You have done something that feels like breaking all your bones together. Yes. Imagine yes. there's there's no compassion to what a woman has. To But you, I tell you, people say, "Is it everyone's fault?" It's not a new thing. But it's everyone's fault. Everyone should. Everyone is equal. We all should respect. We all should respect each other. Yes. You and know. And when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go back to the Arab culture, like you know, when we go And they were they were uh, dance forms that were the first pregnancy to censor the celibate from the back to the oh, stage no. so that they can see the second time through. I learned something new today. Yeah, and um, I think all of that we forgot to put there. Um, the you know when we talk about there's another here uh, that when you are doing your monthly cycle you cannot enter the pool. And women, the feminists, I would call you know they they made this also very negative. There are rights to go to the pool. I, I think somewhere we are limiting this group because there are certain things done right to us also. Yeah, you don't need to work. No, no. You have to guess that month because you are you are on the generation part. You know, you are in the generation production part. You are going through a cycle. You deserve that rest. And if they're giving you that rest, you still can't accept it. So, but the thing is, why I don't like it. I, I'm okay with that. That you know, they give you space to rest. But I don't want they uh, uh, them to say that you are dirty. So that's why you can't go. Exactly. Why that dirty word is there? I don't want to use that. Okay, you want to give me rest? Please, I'm happy to rest. And and look at the word. I mean, I will give you examples. There are women who uh, they are staying with the animals. You know they are staying with animals because they are gone bad that time. Why? Why they are capable of giving birth, which is the most beautiful thing on earth, right? So how we have we women have conditioned other women, right? I am I am passing this thing to my daughter. She she must be passing it. So we all are responsible for that. But when we are you know making that noise or we are talking that. Then they feel that you know who is pointing finger on us. So then, of course, there is there are a lot of issues. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You are saying that you know we need to rest. Of course, we need to rest. But not on those lines. You know, you can't do it. You can't do it. No. See, I don't think that you know uh, they have wellness <laughs> on the agenda at all. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think uh, uh, they will do anything, but because they feel that you know, in media industry, you are working twenty four seven, right? So, so, so it's like that. I have not seen any any uh, workshop happening like that. Of course, we have workshops on. No, no, no. 
Yes, no. We have workshops on uh, uh, on posh, which is like uh, uh, how they should be. They should be known that what is sexual harassment and how there has to be some committees on that thing. So uh, on Women's Day, we have this very niche. Thing that you know, okay, they all are dancing and we get the gifts and everything. Of course, you know <laughs> things like that. So I don't think so. There is so any yeah. any discussion on these lines. So I think it has to be a part of it. Yeah, the last week because of the COVID, I suppose on Women's Day uh, we have this session, online sessions where all the women get together with the CEO. So we all discuss it and they work together. So so I think the uh, last uh, year because of COVID, online thing happened. But I don't think so that you know. Part of the, uh, yes. No, no, no. It's not there. It's not there at all. So, how much of it? Because all of right. Uh, I happened to meet her. I got them out. I said, okay, let's just meet. You know, it's been uh, five, seven years. We've been working together, and all of that happened. But I think um, as a team, we are extremely, extremely close to each other. And uh, fundamentally, I'm a uh, you know quite an empathetic and a compassionate person. Um, and I've also realized that uh, you know we would sit even on good days. I mean, not just on the bad days. Even on the good days, we would sit and we would chat about. So maybe somebody will say, "Maybe Sas nee kar gaya, mere husband se dai hogi, bacha bimar hogi, kuch hogi." So even otherwise, we are very, very communicative with each other. And uh, it is a very big part because see, we can't see each other's faces. We, we, but now we've all reached a stage that there is a phone utha and somebody says, "Hi, good morning." So then you know that something has gone wrong, something has happened, and. Um, Also very very fortunate to have some really nice women working with us because the moment one would say look I can't do this I'm having a, I mean we've had situations where we are on a client call and uh, we are three team members on the call and the third one is saying I'm having an anxiety attack I can't do this anymore and she just puts it in the group and she's out and the two of us are like oh my god now what do we do how do we manage it so we are that open with each other we understand that a lot about each other and anxiety one of them has depression. and it is so sad that she can't even share this with her husband and her kids and her family because the moment she is going to put it out there and even as professionals uh, we cannot have situations where we are saying oh my teammate is going through depression or i'm sorry my teammate is going through anxiety and all of that right so uh, i think this is a sort of a uh, call that we all need to take as you know a society as a this thing and especially women because there's just too much happening see you also have to understand this is a society in transition Women have started to step out of the house. So, जब तक हमारे mom dad का जमाना चल रहा था ना, it was very clear. Fifty percent बाहर, fifty percent घर का. So it was like pretty. Ha. Huh? So everybody was doing their own thing. That now it so happened that there were people who wanted to stay at home. The men say, I'm taking a break for two years. I don't mind being a house husband. And there are women who decided to walk. Yeah. You know, like I. So it's a whole society in transition. Everybody is messed up. Nobody knows. We're just going like that. we will settle down it will take time but then the only thing is like not men versus women but men yeah. with women yeah. so that as a as a team we perform the world goes round with both of this the reason for it 100 back we were talking about this for women we don't talk about that now we all We're talking about women entrepreneurship, women this day, women this, women that. So I always say that I have two kids, a 20-year-old son and a 16-year-old daughter, and I want to be the last generation of parents where we are talking about these things. So for my kids, both of them, whether it's my son or my daughter, just have to make sure that they don't have this concept about Women's Day, Women's Day, women entrepreneurship. So it is the onus lies on this generation. So we need to make sure we get it right. Yes. It can only happen if we can concentrate with men. Also, true. When they are talking to women, I will talk. Yes. So, so men are not men. Men have also been conditioned. Yesterday, I was with a couple, and you know, uh, this guy was like, "I have been like this for five years. I'm this. I'm that." And I was telling him, I said, "Look, I don't hold it against you. We're bizarre. We've been bad years. Just because I said the reason I'm not holding it because you had years and years of conditioning to be in a certain way. You don't know any other way to be. So now it is." that like like i said as a mother of a son it is on me it is my onus to make sure my son is one raised in a way that he can handle an equal woman and my daughter is raised in a way that she learns how to put her foot down and become an equal to a man how please i really appreciate it so like 
Thank you. It was really nice. You know, and uh, let's let's take it to the last um, edge of this talk. What have you? Uh, every question as an audience, uh, male or the female, uh, I'm saying everybody. When it comes to wellness, what is that one thing that you just want them to always take care of? Because you could not, or it's because you do. <laughs> you know. I feel that one should be very mindful. We we actually don't know what what goes around. So one should be very mindful of, and I'm telling it to myself as well. You know? Yeah, yeah. Information. Yeah. You know, I'm telling it to myself as well. Uh, that we have to be very mindful because mind is a very very powerful. So whatever directions I'm giving it, giving it to my mind. So it is going to happen. If I'm a victim ideology, I'll be, oh my God, I have a baby. What I can do? I am not able to see. I have just changed one job. I I was very comfortable. Just I was super comfortable. Like I I I am so thankful to my uh, uh, my previous company that you know I was I was uh, as if I'm a Maharani. You know, Love but it. I am intentionally go, going out of my comfort zone because that is not how I am. You know, I want to grow. I want my kid. Uh, of course, not for the kid, but for myself. That you know, this is how the things are. You can't get everything in a comfort zone. You have to get out of it. So you have to be very prepared. So uh, it's all mind game. I I I really feel that you know, whatever you feel, it will eventually happen. So be very mindful. Just be the uh, driver of your own emotions. Don't get. Uh, anything like you know, kya hoga, kya hoga type, nothing like that. But uh, just be the driver of your life. Don't be the victim. Uh, well, so I, I, I feel. Well, I <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're sharing the same breath. How you manage to do one interview? Yeah. Make sure you never ignore her when she even calls around you. So that is mindfulness, you know. <laughs> My priority is this, but of course so I can't let it go. Yes, so <laughs> how do you take out? How do you take one day? I think the most critical part, and this is more like a life skill thing for everybody across the board, is self-awareness. I think a lot of us don't know who we are, what we want, what we really want to do, what we don't want to do. Um, are we a 10 watt bulb? Are we a 100 watt bulb? Are we ambitious? Are we not? What is it that I can do? What I cannot do? And then once you know who you are, then you understand that okay, fine. This is me, and now you apply it to different parts of your life. Whether it is your wellness, whether it is your profession, whether it is your relationships, whether it is your any phase of your life. So I think a lot of us have never. Being taught to sit and think about who we are, and it's not a existentialist question. कि मैं दुनिया में क्यों आया हूँ मेरा क्या purpose है. I'm not, I'm just saying the kind of person. I mean, what if, am I the kind of person who would be more happy in a marriage? Am I the kind of person who would be more happy alone? Can I pick up a job in a place which has six months of no, uh, you know, sun yes, coming no, out? Yeah. Yes, so yes. we we don't discuss this. Neither parents nor siblings nor anybody encourages. But I think I have done that part. So now I'm very very clear as to a uh, last two three years last two three years and no i i i i met a friend and he kind of helped me to you know otherwise you just look and he's like are you seriously that dumb you didn't know this you didn't figure this shit out like no is it kitab ki badi helpful you know we all are in a journey and there are people who come to our life and give us this thing and then they move on we move, move on in our journey yeah. No, and I think not so. Yeah, yeah. And then you have to be smart enough to understand that this is what I need to take from them because yeah. that intelligent factor is also very, very That's important. I think both of you are combining it so beautifully that it's it's the mindfulness yeah. to let uh, yourself or allow yourself to what's happening to you, embrace it in a way that you can actually move forward, take it forward with you. Uh, being mindful uh, also talks about. Being So when you are aware of who you are, you're automatically motivated. You don't look out for motivation or validation because the motivation brings you out, wants to wake you up every morning, go and interact with people. Um, you know, interact with women like <laughs> women that we just saw. So I, I think um, wellness is all about motivation, and it's about allowing each other to contribute. Uh, in one story, yeah. and thank you, thank you so so thank much you. for this new for taking out time and being here. It's been so special to to have you on this platform and to start kickstart my journey of yeah. the future, Kishan.
so thank you so much jas and we are so proud of your journey so proud of you thank you well 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 jas kesha thank you thank you so much thank you